Okay, so this is a really interesting uh, state of affairs. It looks to be the case that um, the recent PlayStation 5 firmware update has also uh, updated the firmware of PSVR 2. And it seems to be laying the foundation for the support for PC that has been previously hinted at by Sony. And um, we've got this uh, tweet from um, a hacker who's been reverse engineering PlayStation VR 2 since its launch. And um, yeah, I mean, it's all looking quite promising there. Um, John, have you been following this? Uh, lightly, yes. And I do think this is really good information and potentially great news for owners of the PSVR 2 headset. Unfortunately, as we know, I don't believe the headset has been all that well supported. There are good games for it. If you look, uh, maybe not the big stuff, but there's plenty of fun software on PSVR, but it does feel like the support is quickly drying up. So allowing it to officially work with a PC makes a ton of sense. As I've noted, it does seem you will indeed need some sort of adapter. Uh, like yep. this virtual link adapters men mentioned, I would assume hope that perhaps Sony would offer their own official solution for this. Obviously that would mean, you know, you're converting this USB C plug uh, into splitting it out between USB and video. So you can actually plug it into your PC since as we know, most PCs will not send video over USB C uh, certainly none of the recent video cards. Yeah. Uh, so that's all good news, but I'm still, it's, hmm, the situation's weird. My my feelings on PSVR 2 has really kind of gone downhill since I got into the Quest stuff. It just, uh, and a lot of it has to do with just decisions around, like, the lenses and the way they refresh the screen. And I'll be curious to see if they're able to overcome this on PC uh, because the motion clarity just isn't up to par. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's because... So Sony's fighting that interesting battle where uh, br ex extended brightness actually fights against motion clarity in these types of displays when you're trying to do low persistence motion. And Sony went for HDR, and it does work, and it's cool, but at the expense of motion clarity, I feel, to some degree at least, uh, it's very smeary looking, whereas mm. the Quest produces perfect motion, crystal clear, zero blur, basically like a CRT. Uh, Even it's though it's not OLED, right? It's LCD, but the way they yeah. do the low persistence uh, update on it, it's it's the cleanest I've ever seen. It's so good, uh, it's genuinely shocking. Okay. And PSVR two just isn't there. Plus the the, the whole pancake lens thing, um, mm -hmm. where you know the optics of the PSVR mean that you're limited to a sweet spot directly in front of your eye and things outside of that. Like most other headsets, to be fair, pretty much all prior PC heads, headsets work this way where with these old style lenses, things outside of the sweet spot just become sort of blurry and a bit of chromatic aberration can be observed. Uh, but once you see pancake lenses in action, it's kind of like, it's, it's hard. It's hard to get It does back. have the uh, eye tracking though, which the Quest doesn't have, right? So that is correct. So that is, that is a cool benefit. Although ironically, you're using eye tracking on those old lenses so when you're looking around, you're looking at blur. Uh, <clears throat> but I guess that's another question, though, is will eye tracking actually be something useful on the PC? Right. Well, it's very, it's it very useful on the PS5, and games do use it. I think it's awesome. But the PC right now, the PC VR space, eye tracking is relatively rare, and you just don't really see it in games, from what okay. I can tell. And that's because most headsets do not support that, right? Yeah. I mean, it is looking like it is going to be a hard link um, with the cable. There's it no has to be. solution. I mean, you, you can't still... take the cable off, right? Like it's it's <laughs> permanently connected to the PSVR two. <laughs> That's a good point. You can't take the take the cable. You cannot, off. You I'd also suggest it. that you know, if there's no evidence that I've seen so far, maybe I'm wrong that there's actually an SOC within the PSVR two that's capable of decoding video. And why would there be if it's designed for be to be uh, wired, right? Which does mean that you'll need an adapter, which means that, you know, it's a peripheral for a peripheral. So it's it's kind of limiting the use case scenarios. And at the same time, the Quest is, you know, it, it's a very compelling headset. I have a question. To... Mm. Go on. I have a question. Like PSVR 2, how many games use this thing, the DualSense? Uh, not many. I'm curious, will 
Sony actually finally put out like a unified like API for addressing this thing wirelessly on PC. Because if not, and you have a game that is a Sony game that uses PSVR 2 and maybe uses this thing, like you're just not going to get any of the dual sense features without a wire. Well, like, what I if mean, you wire, you have to have two wires, and three wires to your PC now? I don't think like, the dual sense isn't important for this because again, pretty much not many games would use that necessarily. But it's more like the uh, the motion controllers; those need to work wirelessly, right. properly for for any of this to work. So I assume they have to implement something to allow that. <sighs> Finally, like I mean, they have the, to have wireless. They have to have they wireless have, dual yes, sense support. You have to point. have wireless support for those controllers because yeah, you're not. No, you can't play VR with motion controllers with USB cables hanging out of them. I mean, technically you could, but that would be horrible. Oh, I would just hope this pushes Sony to do that because I still find it semi-ridiculous these days that in nearly all titles, just because I don't think developers go the extra mile to a certain degree, you always have to plug in this yep. thing to get any of the, the haptics uh, stuff. That's why I use an Xbox controller still. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Like just no reason. Well, I'm I am slightly concerned. Obviously, the uh, concept of being able to use PSVR two on a PC is something we've been wishing for since it was announced. Mm-hmm. Right? This is really good news. But it is good news. You'll need an adapter, I guess, which is <laughs> not good news. Um, That's not. It's not a big deal. I would well, say. Well, you know, there's talk of um, price points being as high as like you know between fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars just to be able to hook oh. it up to your PC. That's that is problematic. Oh, actually, that is that is pretty That'd be bad. Crap-o. Yeah, yeah. That is and um, there's well, also these well reports said, coming out this week that um, <laughs> PSVR two production has been uh, quote unquote paused because you know mm. the, the stock is piling up because it's not selling. And you know, I can't help but think that Sony could have done a much better job with this, but. Ultimately, it seems that like their heart wasn't really in full support for it. No, flash um, in the pan. Yeah, I, I, I greatly enjoyed it at launch. Yeah, oh, I mean, it was a fantastic launch, no doubt about it. And the kit was certainly excellent. Um, what can you say? GT Seven still phenomenal on that thing. I think that's that's my favorite experience. Still, it's genuinely awesome to play mm-hmm. it that way. And hey, maybe the PC version will support VR. Yeah, I hope so. Mm-hmm. Assuming there is a PC version. Uh, oh, there. It's going to be. There has to be. It's in Jensen's prop. Come on now. I knew you were going to say that, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) Of course it's real. Okay. uh, Well, I guess we will be running some tests on PSVR 2 when it does become PC ready. I'm just kind of curious as to, you know, what's going to be happening with this adapter, assuming adapter is required. I think it's uh, a certainty at this point. Um, I'll tell you you this, Rich. This is interesting. I've been professing uh, the love of the Quest 3 since I got it right. Yeah. I've already had multiple friends go out and buy it after, after seeing it for the first time here. Really? So you're, like, you're both awesome. literally first, feeling. So <laughs> firstly, uh, Corey and Mark from my life and gaming, they both got the quest three after okay. not believing me about how good the wireless stuff was on PC and just the image quality. They were stunned. Uh, another friend of mine uh, picked it up recently as well. And I'm just like, every time, when you actually use this thing and you see what it can do, it's 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 truly game changing. That that is the product that that Meta needed all this time. It's the first truly great headset they ever made. Mm-hmm. The other ones were like prototypes compared to this. Mm-hmm. It's that good. Cool. It's awesome. <laughs> but we will be testing v- uh, PSVR two. Yeah, was, <laughs> I'm not to give up on PSVR because here's the thing: the PSVR two headset is actually still good, right? I mean, it's not cutting edge anymore uh and the lens is kind of dated but that's what most of the wired pc headset space is like as well i mean if you've been using like a valve index for instance i think the psvr2 is arguably better than that hardware wise mm-hmm. and it's a comparable type of experience it's it's a good piece of kit and if you have one this is a way to extend its life beyond uh whatever support sony may provide on the playstation itself right right uh, the the Steam VR library is fantastic. There is a lot of great VR stuff on PC uh, that I highly recommend checking out. And hopefully PSVR 2 owners will now have that opportunity. 